Good afternoon, YouTube Pipe Smokers. Sunday, August 4th already. It's gonna be a hot one in New York. Going up to 85, uh, 87. The humidity is creeping in. Thunderstorms in the afternoon. heart and prayers are for the people in Texas. Imagine you go to the local Walmart, just a shop or something, and you gotta run into some lunatic. Terrible. And of course now all the gun things start again, and you know, I don't know. You know, the thing with the guns, you know, I'm so sick of it, you know. If, there, if you can magically remove every gun in the world, every one, then the guy would just use something else. That's all. He'll take a, get a truck that's been done already and run people down in a crowd. You know, so it's, it's not the gun. You've got to address the lunatic. And it'll come out. This guy will have signs of uh, problems. And... Uh, it was ignored, either by his family or his friends, or nothing was ever done. In the meantime, you got a bunch of people dead, and uh, which is surprising in Texas because it's a gun-friendly state. You would have thought somebody there would have had a gun to shoot this idiot. That's putting it mildly. I see this uh, shootings are starting up again. You know, about a year ago, a local sheriff in this area said if you have a carry permit, which I do, they recommend you carry the gun. This way you can defend yourself, and that's wise advice. Folks, once again, be on the alert. You go to uh, any kind of event or a crowd of people or the local mall, don't be complacent. Pay attention, look around. Do the best you can do to avoid a situation like this. So once again, uh, Kane Rod's drive home on Friday, Ramble, is uh, another good one about plastic. You know, an interesting thing, it sparked a memory. Uh, I'll never forget, when I was a kid, you don't see them anymore, at least I haven't. When you bought a six-pack of soda, it came in those plastic, they hold, it held the cans. And my mother always used to take them off the cans and take a scissor and cut them into small pieces. Of course, she had read that uh, they were getting into the water and the fish were getting those plastic things stuck in their gills and uh, killing the fish. This is about 25, 30 years ago. So from back then, they started with the plastic being an issue. And I always thought, you know, that it is an issue. But if you do some research, it's not the United States that's causing the problem. 
it's mostly the Asian countries that basically use their ocean as a dumping ground. But I will say this, and even with the climate control and the, the so-called global warming, I always felt it would be better to be on the conservative side of you know, cleaning up as best we can. You know, that's not a bad idea. But my argument has always been, it took us, I don't know, 50, 100 years to get where we are. Why does it have to be done overnight? Institute these programs slowly so industry and people can catch up with it. And get after the foreign countries that are polluting. You know, it's always targeting the United States. We're always the, the, the cause of it. And these damn politicians always make us feel like we're the, we're the problem. That we're causing all the whole world's issues. In the meantime, it's countries like China that have no regard. I mean, you see pictures of their air quality there? It's terrible. Now you think that don't affect us? It comes here, it's the atmosphere. But yet, it's always the American, or the Americans are the ones that are causing all this the global warming and everything. At least that's what the politicians have you think. And many people fall into that trap and believe it. So any, any, controversial thing. Do your research. You know, it's so easy today. I, I know Google has been accused of being uh, on the left and all this. They they sway you towards certain... But you can still find out a lot of information. Read up on the stuff and educate yourself and realize that it's not you or me that's causing the problem. We're being made to feel, if you listen to the news, like uh, it's all our faults. And it's simply not true. these other ridiculous uh, Harriet's channels. She mentioned that in her state, if you want to work for uh, the city or the town or whatever, you're not, if you smoke any kind of tobacco product, you're not going to be able to work. Now, I don't know how they can get away with that, being tobacco's legal, still. I bet you if that was challenged, they would, uh, you'd win. But nonetheless, once again, the attack on the tobacco is there. You know, Vermont has a, a big problem because they legalize marijuana, and some companies do drug testing. And it's caused a few lawsuits, I was reading an article, because marijuana stays in your system for quite some time. So if you party on the weekend and you smoke marijuana in uh, Vermont, and now you show up for work and they happen to drug test you, you're going to come up positive for marijuana. But it's legal in the state. And you're not high at the present time, but meantime, you can lose your job, so people are suing because how can that, how can you do this? It's legal. So you see the mess that things cause, cause and effect.
anyway, on a more positive note, uh, I don't know if any of you know, I've had some weird chest pains, and uh, I was a little bit concerned, and I went to, I called my regular doctor, and he recommended I go to emergency. That's the quickest way to get some answers, and they did an EKG and blood work, and it's thankfully no sign of a heart attack or heart issue so far. And then I saw a heart specialist on Thursday, and based on what I described to him, he don't think it's a heart condition, or of course, it's not causing my pain. It was on my left side in the shoulder area, like uh, sort of to the chest. And um, he recommended just the stress test, which I'm going to go for Thursday, this Thursday, and an uh, echocardiogram just to be on the safe side. And Be safe and sorry, as they say. That's one condition that doesn't run in my family, uh, heart conditions. Uh, so hopefully that'll all work out and turn out. Which, that's another good tip for everybody out there, you know. As I say, I, I have a high threshold of pain. Uh, you know, if I have a pain in my right shoulder, I don't care. You know, I, I know it's probably a muscle or... But when you get a pain or some signs of a critical area, such as your heart or... Don't play. Go get it tested. At least then you did all you can do. You know, things can still happen, but you tried your best. You know, if you ignore it, it weighs on your mind, and you'll never know. you're over 50, you're on the downside of the mountain, as I say. So, a lot can happen. So always weigh on the side of caution. Don't become a hypochondriac, of course, but uh, something concerns you, get it looked at. That's all for now. I uh, hope you guys are having a good week, guys and girls, having a good weekend. Can't believe it's August already. Basically, uh, three, four more weeks of summer and it's over. I have to start thinking about heating oil and getting a snowblower running. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? Anyway, have a good one, and I'll catch you guys and girls on the next one. Thank you.